Hey baby girls, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. I hope all of you are doing super well today. Welcome to another video. So today I'm super happy to come and announce the new fall collection for 2022, you guys. And this is it. These are all of the colors. Um, I will be selling them as a bundle or you can always buy them separately if that's what you guys want. Um, so the link to it will be in the description box below. And you can go and shop there, you guys. So I'm going to be swatching them here. The first one is Sweater Weather. You guys wanted it back so badly. So I decided to bring it back from last year's collection. This orange, I decided to name it Maple. And it just reminded me of the maple leaves that just start to fall down the trees. And, you know. So the next one, it's called Cedar. And it's more of like a tan color. And this brown is so beautiful. And this one, it's called Chocolate Melt. And it just reminded me of chocolate. Of course, I went in with Mauve. And it's just called Mauve, the next color. Now this one is a very dark, pigmented um wine so this one is called hoodies and lattes i think that's what i named it <laughs> and then i do have wine me down which is a more whiny tone so the following one it's called fall in love of course fall in love and it's just like a super beautiful green now this one and the next two are shimmery and this one is called Mahogany and this one it's called Autumn Forever. So for all of my autumn lovers, these two last shades, like I said, are shimmery, okay? So the colors or the acrylics will be sold um, as a collection. I will have the whole bundle. It's 10 acrylics total for $100. But if you guys decide to buy them separately, they will be for $11.99 so it's all up to you you guys it's all up to you I know that a lot of you don't like like to buy the whole thing and just want one or two tones or one or two acrylics you know it's perfect it's okay that's why I decided to have them sold as a bundle or separately so it's all up to you guys like I said I will have the link to my store in the description box below just in case you guys want to go and purchase some of the acrylics and as well i do have brushes available i have the number 14 brush available i do have tips available these are the tips that i'm using for today it's the 3xl um coffin tips and they are available like i said um i do have dappin dishes in pink and purple um i do have several things in there you guys that you might want to grab on and before they sell out so yes baby girls we're gonna be going in with maple honestly i think this is my favorite color from all of them because orange literally just brings me fall vibes literally like everything in when i decorate i haven't decorated my home let me know if you guys have decorated already for fall but i'm not there yet i've been very busy with my fall collection and um by this time last year i had already put up everything and i haven't been able to this year oh my god hopefully this this week i will but anyway everything in my home decor for fall has to have some type of orange you guys um i don't know if that's just me but tell me tell me like what's the color for you that really reminds you of fall you know what i mean that you have to say like no that no that's not even a fall color you gotta have orange or you gotta have brown or you know what i mean let me know because honestly i really want to know so i really wanted to start um this fall or this year's fall designs with the orange and um i really wanted an orange that was a little brighter than last year's last year's was called pumpkin pie i believe i'm not sure um but that one that one was a little more the color was a little more dull if that makes sense this one is a lot more brighter like it is more brighter and that's what i was looking for so i thought it was perfect and you guys can see here how they work they blend perfectly 
um they're not chalky or anything like that they're very buttery that's what i loved about this collection you guys that you will not have any problems trying to um, work with them they're very beginner friendly or advanced nail tech um so if you have a little more experience, perfect. But if you have less experience with acrylic nails, they're still perfect for you. Because honestly, like you can see there that the bead does not go running everywhere. Or it's not that stiff where it's too chalky where you can't work with it. You know what I mean? I think they're perfect. So we're going to be working with ombres today. Um, So I'm going to be applying my first bead uh, at the tip pretty much the tip <laughs> the literally the tip of the nail and i'm gonna try and blend it downwards just to kind of cover the whole nail these nails were super long so of course it's not covering the whole nail with my first bead so i like to go in with a second bead and just kind of apply it here at the tip of the nail um just so that i can pretty much cover the whole thing you know what i mean so yeah you guys like i mentioned i am using my number 14 brush and i am using my acrylics with the not polish monomer you guys and they're working perfect perfect i did not have any problems any issues any nothing they're perfect so if you guys didn't know i do have a coupon code with not polish as well if you guys want to go in get some goodies from their online store i will have the link to that in the description box below as well as my coupon code but yeah now i'm gonna be using um butter pecan and this is my all-time favorite cover to use during the fall time i did brought it out last year you guys but i still have it and i will keep on restocking this color because it is so gorgeous it goes with everything um i i think i used it in my with my valentine colors i used it with my pastels i used it with my summer colors i used it now with my fall colors and it looks perfect so i do have that one in stock as well so I'll go ahead and get it because this cover is so pretty and like i said it is called a butter pecan so anyway i'm picking up my first bead and i am playing it exactly where that orange ended okay that's where i'm placing that bead and that really makes that um transition where you can't really see where the nude starts and where the orange ended you know what i mean and um you guys can see there that i really blended my orange it's just for that same reason you guys for the same reason that i didn't want to have any issues trying to blend those two colors together because the orange is a little too pigmented and is a little um you know too powerful for this nude you know what i mean so i didn't want to have that issue that's why i went ahead and blended it really nicely and now going in with my cover it made it so much easier to blend them together so like i said you really want to blend those two to where you don't you don't see where one one ends and the other one starts you know what i mean so yeah chicas that's exactly where i placed my first bead you guys can see here what i'm doing and just blending it down not really being too hard with the product or actually the brush not being too harsh with the brush because i may if i make like really harsh strokes with that i'm gonna bring the whole product off the nail and it's gonna be harder for you guys okay so just be very gentle with it and you'll see that your ombre will be bomb.com. So after I'm through with this, you guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and start capping everything. I'm going to go ahead and cap using my um, acrylic system, my monomer and crystal clear acrylic from Not Polish. Again, coupon code in the description box below. And yeah, you want to make sure you cap, you guys, because of course we do have an ombre going on. We don't want to ruin anything that we just did and um yeah you want to make sure you secure everything and just cap everything in place
Okay, baby girls, so now, like always, I'm taking my 8080 nail grid file and just kind of shaping the sidewalls, removing any acrylic stuck underneath the nails, making sure that there's no acrylic under there. And like I said, just further shaping, not really going deep into it, but kind of removing any acrylic that was left underneath the sidewalls. And yeah, and that's pretty much what I do with my hand file first. This is just how I file, you guys. This is just how así me impuse. Like, this is how I got used to. So, yeah. Look at what I purchased through Amazon, you guys. If you guys don't have this, oh, my God. What are you waiting for? Um, I was really skeptical when I saw it. I was like, no, I'm not going to buy that. But then I bought it. And um, I loved it. Like, all my drill bits are in place. They're not all over the place, you guys. They're not getting lost. They're not going anywhere. They're staying there. Um, and I freaking love it. So, yeah, anyway, I am using the 5-in-1 Fine Drill Bits. Oh, my God, brain fart. <laughs> From Not Polish, you guys. And uh, you guys know how much I love this drill bit. I know that I go back between my panel one and this one but honestly i really like this one too and i am taking it along the cuticle area because we are sealing that area making sure that there's not going to be any lifting and i'm also taking it along the surface of the nail to debulk it and also to remove any lumps and bumps that might have been left from the acrylic so we want to make sure we remove all of that and um like i said i am taking it at about 13 through 15 rpms i do not take it higher than that just because this one does burn you guys it really does burn um i've burned my mom and i've burned my sister and i did burn myself with it so it's not cute you guys it actually does hurt that's why i don't like to take it at very high rpms because i don't know it gets too hot like it <laughs> i don't know what it is you guys but that's why i like to take it around 13 through 15 rpms and it works perfect so yeah like i said going around the cuticle area debulking the nail and also i do take it along the sidewalls because i really want a crisp shape to these nails making sure they're very nice and straight and and um, the drill bit really helps me do that. So I like to take it along the sidewalls as well. And yeah, baby girls, I'll let you guys watch this part and I'll be back.
Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my 8080 nail grid file once again just to further shape the nails and also underneath the nails because sometimes the drill bit does leave like little wavy lines underneath and I don't like that. I really like that to be very straight so I do take it underneath the nail. Also the sidewalls like I said and also shaping the free edge making sure it's very nice and crisp. And then now taking my 150-150 nail grid file, uh, I do take it along the surface of the nails just to further buff the whole surface. This really helps me buff out the surface, you guys, because sometimes the drill bit does leave harsh lines behind. And I don't like that look. It looks kind of funny even when going in with my buffer. It, I don't like it, you guys. So I do like to take this over the surface and it just makes a huge difference. And after I'm done with that, then I go in with my buffer. Okay, so now that my nails are ready to go and cleansed, I'm going to go ahead and take my shiny top coat on my index nail and on my pinky because we are going to be doing a crock print here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to be applying a super thin coat and then I'll go ahead and cure it under the lamp for about 60 seconds depending on the type of lamp you have. And after it's out, now I'm going to be taking this gel which is used for the Gelix 
um system which it's perfect you guys because i wanted it to be clear i didn't want any type or sort of color you know what i mean i wanted the crop print to be clear so i'm gonna be taking this gel and just making the little crop print with this dotting tool And now without it being cured, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle my crystal clear acrylic on top of that and making sure that it is very nicely saturated with powder. Now I'm going to go ahead and cure it under the lamp for about another 60 seconds. And once it comes out of the lamp, just dust all that acrylic off and you're clear crock print is ready to go. So I'm going to be doing the exact same thing here on the index nail and I'll be back. So now moving on to my ring finger and my middle nail, I'm going to be applying a matte top coat which is available on my online store. The shiny and the matte top coat are available you guys. So um, I will be applying a super thin coat on each of the nails and I do this because I will be doing a little bit of 3D and I hate to go around it with the shiny top coat or even the matte top coat you guys. So I prefer to go in with the matte um, before so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing I'm going to put that in the lamp for about 60 seconds once it comes out I'm going to be doing two little flowers here so I'm going to be using the same orange that is from my fall collection and to do these little um what's it called um flowers <laughs> and um I am going to be using a number five brush for this and just taking my first little bead and applying it there I also like to apply my crystals first because that actually guides me as to where the flower is going to be and where to place the petals and all that. So it's just easier. It, it's a guide. So um, I do like to like do two at a time because they dry up faster and it's it's just the process is a lot faster you guys other than just placing one little bead and waiting for it to dry um so i i just like to do two at a time so like i said i placed on my first two beads and then um the first one that i had placed is ready to go i start to mold it and then the next one i start to mold it as well and you know that's just pretty much the process that i take when it comes to 3d all i can tell you guys literally the trick to it is waiting for it to be matte once you see that little bead turn matte, that is an indication that you must go in with your brush to mold it.
Now I'm going to be applying some little butterflies. So these butterflies, I got them off of Amazon a while ago. And I'm going to be placing one right there in the center and then the other one towards the tip of my middle nail. And I am using, you guys always ask me what kind of glue I'm using. And it is the Big Bondini glue. It is also found on Amazon. It is pretty good, you guys. I do like it. I've had it for a long time now. And I do like it. But it's a little more runnier than others, okay? So watch out with that. And yes, chicas. So now I'm going to be also applying some more crystals. Because lo miré muy solito. Like I thought it needed a little more bling to it. So I just went ahead and added um, a little more drops of that glue and added a little more crystals to that. And this is the end result, you guys. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you guys like it or not. Um, personally, I did. I loved it. And yes, you guys, this is about it. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to go to my online store and check out everything over there. Fall collection available now, chicas. <laughs> Don't sleep on it. So, yeah, baby girls, I will catch you on the next one. Stay safe. God bless and bye-bye.